In this tutorial, we will learn how to model a fan or a simple piece of fan as you can see here. So let's go to the uh, file and see what we got. We got five pieces, uh, four of them are uh, symmetric. That one, that one are similar to these two ones. And inside we have the fin. If we get closer, we can find this fin. It's hard to select it, that one. And we will, uh, we will see now how we can model each and every one of them. Okay, let's start a new file. And I will create for the uh, exterior part, I will create a teapot. I will make sure I'm snapping to uh, grid and that's my tea pot. I will press F3 and F4 so I can see both uh, material and lines or edges. Now because the, the last one I created was uh, missing the handle, the spout and the lid that's what is created in 3ds max so just after you create it just uncheck handle spout and lid make the radius something like 30 with seven segments okay so now let's right click convert to editable poly and we need to get rid of that rim that we see here so we change the view to front view change selection mode to polygon and select these polygons and press delete now i need to have a copy of this editable poly so with the selection tool i press shift and i drag it up and it asks me if it's an instant or copy i need the copy because i'll make some modification on it Actually, let's wait until we do the tapper, tapper thing. Or maybe, yeah, let's do the tapper first. Change mode to front. And we will apply a tapper modifier. We will raise the amount. Something like 1.9 will be fine. And curve, let's make the curve 0 0.3. I like it. Okay, that's fine. Let's drag it up like that and create a copy, not on an instance, because we need to get rid of that tapper and we need to get rid of some of the polygons. So we go to polygon selection mode, we deactivate the snap toggle, we select these pieces and we delete them so that's what's left for me and that will be the part here okay I guess we need to get rid of some extra uh, that one we need to get rid of some extra press F3 uh, polygons so using the rectangular tool and make sure we are in the front view i use the rectangular tool to select that upper one and press delete that's fine push it up just like that and let's see what we will do with this uh, this other part and that will be the exterior net I will use another modifier with that one, which is the uh, lattice. And for lattice, where, where is it? It's in the L letter. With the lattice, I will press F3. Uh, I will use only trust, only trust. And let's change the uh, values of the radius. Let's make it 0 0.5, maybe 0 0.3. Let's make it thin segments to one one is fine M maybe two 
so you don't need to use the hyper uh, turbo smooth let's raise the sides to something like 12 so it gets uh, smooth and now let's select both of these objects press ctrl to select both of them activate the snap angle snap tool and change to front not back use the rotate tool to rotate it to 90 degree just like that okay so that's the front part of the fan let's change to uh, top view and we will press shift and on that let's get closer on the y-axis I will rotate both of them let's select both of them by pressing control now I need to rotate it while pressing shift and make it 180 and that will be an instance not a copy so whenever I want to change it I can change it let's deactivate angle snap tool and activate snap to uh, grid tool using selection let's drag that piece just like that and let's get closer so we can make sure we need to get them close to each other of course I can use symmetry in this case but this is uh, not much we don't need symmetry because we don't have too much details here oops oops uh, I guess we got wrong rotation so you can press ctrl z yeah we need to rotate both of them first let's change to front view maybe left left okay so now it's 90 degree so I can let's do it on the x-axis on the front view press shift make it 180 make it an instance press ok push it while snapping deactivate snap to make final adjustment or something like that it need to be raised up just a tiny and pushed pushed forward like that okay let's get back to perspective view and that's the basic shape of our fin or fan not fan we need to create the fin actually now it's time to model the fin uh, so let's get back to top view select all of these and push them something like that and let's go to create let's create a plane let's make a plane here and as you see it keeps my last parameter I will make it something like 100 let's make it 120 so we won't need to modify it to by 120 and segments I will make it 5 by 5 press right click convert to editable poly change selection mode to polygon and select these four while pressing control in the corners and hit delete now change selection mode to vertices select these two guys 
using scale tool let's scale them up these two guys on the x-axis and we need scale these down as you can same here on the y-axis now get closer we need to do the same for these two now let's create or use the shell modifier so it can have some thickness and then we use the turbo smooth we raise the iteration to 3 and isolate selection okay now i need to rotate that piece while activating snap toggle on the y axis oh not not the point the turbo smooth so minus 90 now let's move it to its position just like right here change view to front yeah we need to push it up make it in the middle as you can and as you can see we need to make it bigger and maybe we can slightly rotate it okay I guess it's fine okay let's get back to perspective view so now we got the fan of course we can modify it and that's a simple fan actually that we can use in a scene not not used for electri electricity modeling purposes but this is as we said before this is a simple uh, course for learning basic skills of model and let's continue let's see it first before we finish this video let's see it on render production Maybe we need to, to make that uh, piece a bit smaller. So let's select it and press using scale. Oh God, I hate the scale tool. I prefer to adjust the size at the beginning rather than using that scale tool. Now let's go to left view. Oops, we should do the same with that other one. okay let's get back to perspective see what we got that's it that's fine let's try render as you can see here it gets smaller that looks better of course uh, try it on your own and let's continue to the next lesson